videos. Let's get started. Thank you so much for all of your likes and your shares and your subscribes. I really appreciate it. I'm excited to be back. I was traveling in September a lot, so I wasn't able to get those readings out. So anyway, I'm excited to be back. I'm doing private readings again, so if you're interested, go ahead and just click on the link below, and I will gladly do a private reading for you. Okay, let's make sure you can see all of these. These fit. I just had to get my camera reset up. There we go. Beautiful reading though, just in general, looking at all the colors. Leo, that's always makes them fun. Okay. Let's talk about your October love situation, Leo's coming in from the end of September, which is now. This is September 29th that I'm recording this. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Alright, so Either you or somebody is bringing something towards you, okay, or towards the relationship or a relationship, okay, and not just bringing something because knights take action, right? So, and the pentacles usually represent work of some form, okay? It doesn't have to mean career and finances. It can also mean work, putting forth effort. So, you're putting forth or they, your partner, is putting forth a lot of effort into the relationship, okay? Whether that be tough conversations, putting forth effort into planning dates. Uh, Leo, I know when you're interested in somebody or when you are trying to get an ex back or when you're rekindling that spark with your current partner, I know how much thought and effort you put into into them and into the relationship. You're extraordinarily creative, okay? Very creative. And that makes things very special for your partner, and they really appreciate that. So this is representing extra effort, extra work, being creative, focusing on little tiny nuances of conversation and nuances of of dates and communication that really can go far, make the relationship go far, okay? So, yes, somebody, most likely you, Leo, but somebody is putting forth a lot of extra work into the relationship, okay? If Even if you're not dating anyone specifically and you're dating in general, you're putting forth effort into dating because you're trying to meet somebody special for you. So you're not just going out on a million dates, you're actually putting forth effort into the dates, okay? And I love this card crossing. I love it. We'll talk about it in a minute. But your primary card for the month of October, Leo, is the King of Swords, okay? This is a personality, okay? Can be you or somebody that you're interested in that is air has air-like qualities, okay? Very... Cognitive, intellectual, loves thinking, loves discussing, okay? Air signs in the zodiac are Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and they are, they are ruled by the head. They're ruled by their thoughts and their ideas. And they love strategy, and they're deep thinkers, okay? They, they will retreat in relationships because they go into their head and try to figure things out. Most likely, their emotions, okay? So, this, this is very interesting because... This is your primary card, okay? Now, we also see the primary, the, what's crowning your October is the Queen of Swords. You have a lot of air energy this month. And I'm going to say something that I normally wouldn't say with these two cards together like this for a Leo type of reading. Sometimes, Leo... Don't get offended. Please do not get offended. But sometimes, Leo, you get into your head too much, okay? And you tend to spin and put yourself down a rabbit hole regarding love, okay? You get so into somebody and maybe they're not responding to you the way that you want them to or they're not appreciating all that extra effort that you put in, okay? And I, you do. You really do. And... And then you will spin in your mind about it and get so worried 
and so worked up about it when really what you need to do is be, you're in your head and you need to be in your head and stay there instead of forcing to take action because that's the thing with you, Leo, and actually fire signs in general is they'll go inside of their head and then they'll spin and then they'll try to rectify the situation by taking action, by communicating, by showing up, by trying too hard to plan dates. So sometimes you have to really be careful with that balancing act, okay, of where your mindset is versus reality. And sometimes it's very helpful to step back. Okay, now, I know this is just general advice, and I know I need to relate these to the cards, so don't get frustrated with that. Uh, so these cards are important here for you because this is saying a couple different things. You could have an air energy in your life that you are attracted to, okay? You are actually, you could be putting forth this energy towards an air sign, okay? Or somebody that has air energies in their chart. Very possible, Okay. They may not be responding the way that you want them to, okay? And it causes you to spin in a good way, though, really. Okay, I know I was saying negative things about it, but here we have the five of wands, and this is witty banter, playful, jovial activities. Okay, there's a bunch of people involved here, and it's just kind of pushing and pulling of the word, you know, word, word play, energy play, power play, sex play, okay? This is just saying that you're out and you're having fun, you're meeting lots of people. If you are interested in somebody, okay, they may or may not be responding to you the way that they want, but this is good for you, Leo, because this is the type of challenge that you like, okay? You like trying to figure things out. These air signs, they are not very communicative with their emotions. They'll talk about everything under the sun, with expertise level at an expertise level but they will not have, they will have a really hard time talking about their emotions okay so you're putting forth all this effort trying to get their attention trying to get them to communicate and they're just in your mind they're playing with you because they're not responding the way you want but you're liking it okay key so there's that and then also of course this can mean you're in your head you need to either stay in your head in a positive light and not take so much action because it tends to scare people off. Uh, but just keep things light. That's really the that's really the key here. This card is key here for you, October, is to keep things light. Okay. Okay. Again, what's 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 grounding your October is the Page of Pentacles. So we have two Pentacles. This is work. This is application. This is study. Okay. So as you're meeting people, as you're dating, as you're continuing to show interest in somebody, okay, don't. Don't stop putting in the work because they really appreciate it. And if they don't right now, they won't show it even if they do, okay? If they don't right now, they will. Because when you are with somebody or meeting somebody or dating somebody that puts, puts forth nice creative energy the way that you do, effort the way that you do, Leos, it tends to really help you stand apart over time, okay? If they don't see it right now, which one, they should, Two, if they don't, because they're afraid to admit it, okay, keep doing it, okay? Watch their reactions, and, you know, maybe alter things that you do to try to elicit different different types of reactions from them, because they appreciate it, they just really have a hard time in, in understanding that and, and accepting it and communicating it, okay? Okay. Well, it's crowning you, we already talked about this enough, so I'm not going to talk about it too much more, the Queen of Swords, Okay. Again, this air-like energy, stoic, emotionless, but very intelligent, very strategic personality. Okay, it's crowning you. You're October. Moving forward into your near future, though, is that we have the star. So this is a very positive card. It can be a little dreamy, hoping things turn out, okay? But with the star, they, they do. Because as you can see, she, she, this is her well of emotions, okay? This is a night card, which I've talked about before. Knights represent our internal emotions, not reality. But it is full of stars. It's full of a glimmering hope that her emotional state will, her, his or her emotional state will continue to be fulfilled. And this person, she in this card, it could be you, you Leo, if you're a man too, is continuing to put 
effort into keeping this full. Okay, and not only is she keeping her emotional state full, she's keeping the reality and the practicality of their life stable and growing by watering that too. Okay, again, Leo, this is a very important card for you this month because you always put forth effort. You're very creative. You're not afraid of working hard and you're not afraid of working smart and you're not afraid of working fun. Okay, so in terms of relationships, you are putting forth the effort. You are watering the, practica the practical side and the realistic side of the relationship. You are watering the dreamy side of the relationship because you want to keep that type of spark alive. And you are watering and keeping the emotional state full. Okay? This is a card of hope. But it's a card of continued effort to make that dream turn into a reality. Okay? You, I feel, are really dealing with an air sign, Leo, because, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but we have this magician card here, and I will talk about that in a minute, but first of all, <laughs> Leo, we have the death card, and this is how you feel about the situation, okay? This is how you feel about the relationship. If you're really dealing with an air type of energy or somebody that acts like this, stoic, but very smart, emotionless, okay? You need to really remember that they are not emotionless. They One, they process information differently, slower. Two, it is harder for them to understand. Because they're so cognitive, it is hard for them to understand their emotions. Okay? I know that's hard for you to... to I know that's hard for you to understand because you are... Emo you recognize your emotions so quickly. Okay? Fire signs do. Air signs do not. Now... The reason why I'm saying that, how you're feeling about this, the relationship, Leo, is the death card, okay? You're feeling like you've been through hell on earth, but you're seeing so much glimmering hope on the other side, okay? So you're feeling like this end of this phase with this person is finally you might be starting to crack their code a little bit, and you're finally starting to see the light, okay? Leaving death and destruction, you know quote-unquote, death and destruction and frustration and uneasiness and uncertainty, leaving that behind and being pushed towards, being pushed towards a new day, okay? Full of spiritual growth, full of youthful energy and sunlight, okay? Moving towards that. This is how you feel about the situation. Now, how they feel about the situation, the magician. This is the first major arcana card, okay? So don't feel like your efforts are not being heard or recognized because they are. Because how they feel about the situation is that it is a brand new beginning for them, okay? They feel in, one, they feel in control of the situation. They feel in control of the relationship and they're liking that. Not that they're controlling you, they just feel like it's a whole new phase for them and that anything can happen and they and they can mold it to what they want, okay? I like this, this card because air signs are, they're extremely cognitive, okay? They have infinite thoughts, but instead of staying in their mind with this card, this is meaning that they're willing to pull these thoughts and these energies out of the air and actually work and manifest something. So if they're not communicating yet, about their happiness in their relationship or with you, don't get too worried. Keep the faith, essentially, because they will, okay? They like, they're seeing a whole new beginning in this and they're seeing potential. And you are too, Leo, because here we have the King of Pentacles. So you are feeling like this is a very stable connection that you have with this person. And if you're just dating in October, you most likely will be meeting somebody that will make you feel this way. Okay? There's a, there's a growth and stability here with this connection that you're hoping for and like. Okay? And then again, this is all you, Leo. We have the Major Arcana card, the Strength card. Okay? So a beautiful card. This is ending. This is finishing up your October. It's a strong relationship. Okay? There's trust. Okay? You may be very different species, okay? 
you may be very different, quote unquote, animals because you are very different in how you process information and understand life. You're very different, but you also trust each other and you're both strong. You're stronger together, really. Okay. Interesting reading, Leo, because I do know a few Leos and I've just done some readings for some Leos and it was basically this exact scenario. So once again, the tarot never ceases to amaze me because it's just basically night and day mapping out what I've said for numerous people and have been seeing with friends and family.